In this session, I'm going to talk about charts. There are different types of charts that you can insert in a spreadsheet. And now we are moving on to the next tab here, primarily under the insert tab. And you can insert all kinds of stuff here under pictures, clip art, shapes, smart art and all. So if you look here under charts, you can insert column charts, line charts, pie charts, it gives you some samples here as to what you can do. The idea of charts, it's very simple. Basically, you can, let's say you have a bunch of data like this. And now you can take this data and you can basically create a chart out of it. So to create a chart, it's very simple. You select the data. So we have the day here and the amount. And then you click on insert and then you choose chart. Now, the idea is that uh, and this is a tip here for you to remember is that if it's something that deals with percentages, then you'd probably use a pie chart because that's going to go against 100%. If it's something that it's like the stock market or data like this in this spreadsheet that I have at this point or worksheet here, then you probably want to use a line chart to see how things are fluctuating. Column charts fall somewhere in between there. So uh, in this case, probably the most suitable chart would be this one on the line chart. So again, we just choose amount here. And we select the two columns that we want. And then we click on insert and then line chart. We pick the type of line chart for now is just go simple. So we click on line chart. And there it is, it's drawn out. The chart has been automatically created. Now notice when you create the chart here, it also gives you these contextual tools. So you can change the type of the design here. You can also change the type of the layout, you can format the chart a different way and things of that nature. Under the layout, notice that you have the chart title, chart title, where you want to put the axis and all that type of stuff, vertical axis and so on, the legend, where you want to display the legend and so on, and things of that nature. So it's going to be a matter of playing with it and checking it out and testing it. So now, why would you use a chart, you'd say? Well, you probably want to figure out what's happening or what's changing in your business. So to check this out a little bit further or better, what we need to identify here is go back and then probably sort these by date because notice they are not sorted correctly at this point. So I'm going to delete the chart and then the first thing we're going to do is sort this by date. And that's where the sorting uh, comes handy. So we click on sort by oldest to newest. And then we select the two columns again, and we create the chart all over again. Click on insert line chart. And it's going to look very similar to before. However, you're going to notice here that 42 through 49, there was a low point, And it seems to be here as we make this bigger, there are certain points that are lowest. And if you notice, there is like a sequence. So by simply using this, uh, using this chart and looking at this chart, you can identify probably where the spots are or what where the problems are, or what days of the week probably you could offer, for example, coupons or some kind of a promotion or something, do something about it. And so in this way, you're using a chart to identify your business and make business decisions. Here's another type of chart. This is probably where you could use a column chart. So we have different categories of items. And you have those items that are sold in stores, they're sold over the website, and then they are also sold through mail order. So what you can do in this case is you can select only the data that it's valuable to you. And then you go under insert, and then you choose column chart. Under column chart, you can pick any of those three dimensional and so on. But for now, let's keep it simple, click on the, the first one. 
and that's a representation of your data. So that's a representation of your column chart. Now, you could go in here under the design tools and modify this further, this chart further by, for example, clicking on the chart layout and you could have the numbers displayed and you could have um, the a legend in the bottom and so on. So you have all kinds of layouts and designs here. If you go under the layout, Again, you can format the different components like uh, the axis. You can format uh, these guys here. Like if you double click on it, you can have it so it shows up in a fixed format. And the units, for example, they could be in thousands. Instead of having 7, 000, uh, 70 thousand with all the zeros, you could just make it look like that. And it shows you that it's in thousands. So you basically have full flexibility by using the layout to modify the legend and all the different other components in this chart. But this is an example of the column chart here. As far as formatting, you could go ahead and format this with different colors and different other designs as well. Another type of chart, and this is where you could put different types of charts actually. So let's say you have sales here and the years. So in this case, probably a column chart would be a good one to utilize. So we have the data. We click on insert, choose column chart, and then that's a representation of that data. So that's the first one, it's a column chart. Now if I deleted that and I made that a pie chart to just display here that some types of charts are not very useful, Notice this uh, pretty much useless in this case. That's why I say that you need to utilize the right chart. Here, for example, the line chart would probably be useful as well. So if I choose this first one, it shows how the business through the years is improving or not improving. So line chart or the column chart. Now the other one here, for example, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, you could have it, that would probably work because it's part of a whole, part of 100%. Um, you could use here a, a column chart. Notice if you do not select the data first, then it doesn't work right. So the column chart in our case actually works best in that. So again, you need to experiment with it and see what works best and what doesn't work best. This would probably be best for either line chart, so you could try line chart and that's how they work, or the column chart. The column chart, this is actually the best one because you're comparing each quarter the revenue versus expenses and it's more visual. So the idea of using charts is that it's more visual. You need to use what makes things more visual or brings out the point that you're trying to make more clearer to the reader or the viewer or the audience. So you play with it. The concept here is select the data, choose insert, choose the type of the type, and then customize a chart with all the different options here that are available.